Hey there guys, what's going on here? It is John from JTB Review 123 here. Today we're going to be looking at Soul Fly's record called Omen. So Omen came out in uh, May 18th, 2010, which is uh, the year that I graduated. So it was like three months before I graduated high school, so kind of cool. I remember jamming this before it came out. It leaked on torrents before it came out. Kind of cool. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, this is their shortest album to date since they've came out. This is only 40 minutes in length, 35 seconds. Uh, special edition is about 51 minutes if you get the special edition, but hey. But, uh, same lineup, same everything. Great. I love it. The same lineup's always good. But we kind of have an issue here. So sadly say that Omen is my least favorite record to date with SoFi. This album was ee, not that good. The features were okay, so... There's only really two tracks that I really liked off the whole album. That's sad to say, but it's true. And it's the only tracks with features, I believe. So I liked Rise of the Fallen, which I thought was a great track. And that has uh, Greg Pucciano from the Dillinger Escape Plan. Great song. Great, awesome song. Rise of the Fallen is just killer. And you can't deny that. Listening to the track, you just can't deny it. And then also, I like Lethal Injection, which has Tommy Victor from the band Prong. Which Prong is another classic band, which I love Tommy Victor. He's great. But honestly, the rest of the album, uh, besides Your Life, My Life, is... or uh, No, actually, not even that. Reviews Resist, which is a supple chart cover. So, actually, no. The only tracks I liked were the the Sepultura cover, and I liked the two features. The rest of the album was filler, which is crazy to me. That's crazy. I expected, uh, like, Soulfly to put out a better record than this. I, I expected a better record, but they just didn't give it to me, this one. It was mostly filler. It was just eh, nothing really caught my attention besides the the features. The ones that stood out beyond the rest. So saying that, this record's gonna get like a five out of ten. And the only reason why it gets a five out of ten is because Two points for Rise of the Fallen, two points for Lethal Injection, and one point for covering a Sepultura song. So two plus two plus one equals five. And that's why it gets a five out of ten for me. What did you guys think of Omen? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'm, I'm at a five. I, I think it highly deserves a five. I'm sorry to say. I don't know if it's because it's a short shorter record. I don't know if it's just because the songwriting sucked. I don't know. I think it gets a five out of ten. What do y'all think? Am I right? Am I wrong? I just wasn't feeling Omen. I just wasn't. So, Anyways, guys, we're going to move on from this record because eh, I wasn't feeling it. So... Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. See you on the next Sepple or God, I keep saying Sepple Chart. Soulfly record. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye.